In this video, I'll show how to create property lines on Google Maps. Here I can draw property lines using the measure distance tool. But the problem is I cannot save the lines after I create them. I cannot even share this Google Map with the custom property lines. We have a free workaround. We need to use Google My Maps, which is available for free. Here I'll search with My Maps. I'll log on to My Maps here. I do not have any Google My Maps created, so I'll create a new map. I'll click on this create a new map button. I'll click on the create button and I'll search for the location. I'll select this location. Under this base map option, I'll select the satellite view. I'll zoom into the area. This is the property where I want to create the property lines. To create the property lines, I'll select this draw a line option. I'll select add line or shape. Now I'll start creating my lines. I'll start here. I'll click on the area where I want to create a point. Later I can adjust the location of these points. If the location is too big for the screen, then I can move the mouse and it will adjust the map view. Now I can create more pins here. I'll name it property lines and save it. I can select and drag any of these points to adjust the lines. When this layer is selected or you can select the layer under this untitled layer option. This is the property lines layer we just created and it shows this pop up. I'll select this style icon. I'll select a color. I'll select the red color. I can adjust the width of the border. I can adjust the transparency of the polygon. I'll set a little transparency here and I'll close this. Now when I click outside, you can see the color of the border and the color of the selected area. So I can easily identify this area. You can create custom location pins. I'll select this add marker option. I want to create a location pin here. I'll name this marker to entry and I'll save this. When I click on this style, I see it has the option to change the icon. I'll click on more icons. Here I'll select this tick icon. I'll click on OK. I'll select the color green for this. I'll close this. I'll close this. This is our view. I'll add one more marker here. I'll click on the add marker icon. I want to create a marker here. I'll name it to exit. I'll save it. I'll change the icon. I can select any icon. I'll just select this one. I'll set the color to yellow and that's it. Currently the map doesn't have a name. I'll click on this. I'll paste a name. I'll name it to property lines. Okay. Save it. Now you can share this Google map with the property lines. Also, you can embed this Google map with the custom property lines on a website. Let's see how to share this map. Here I'll click on this share button and I'll click on this anyone with this link can view. Now I see this copy icon. I'll copy this. I'll open a new private window. I'll paste the link here. This is how it looks. You do not need a Google account to view this map. This is the property where I have created the property lines. You can zoom in or zoom out to the property. To view the map in full screen, I'll click on these three dots. I'll select this collapse map legend. Now the map is in full screen. To embed this Google map with the custom property lines, click on these three dots. Here select embed on my website and it provides a code. You just need to copy this code and paste the code on the page where you want to embed this custom Google map. I have several videos on Google maps. You can watch the videos to learn more about Google maps and Google my maps. You will find the link to watch the videos in the video description. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.